Felicity Huffman, remember her star of Desperate Housewives? Well, she was sentenced today to 14 days in prison for her role in the college admission cheating scandal. Huffman and 13 other parents pleaded guilty to bribery and mail fraud charges. She initially faced up to 20 years in prison, but received a more, well, more lenient sentence, two weeks, because of her guilty plea. In, in a statement today, Huffman said, I accept the court's decision today without reservation. I have always been prepared to accept whatever punishment the judge imposed. I broke the law. I've admitted that. And I pleaded guilty to this crime. There are no excuses or justifications for my actions, period. Well, 50 people, also included Full House actress Lori Laughlin, were indicted back in March of this year in a massive FBI investigation, which revealed that paid parents, well, parents paid millions of dollars in bribes to get their children into elite universities. Part of the scheme involved cheating on standardized exams like the ACT and falsely designating some kids as athletes to get preferential treatment at various schools, even if they weren't athletes at all and had nothing to do with those sports. In Huffman's case, she paid $15,000 to have a college counselor correct answers on her daughter's SAT test, resulting in a higher score. More I'm joined by Katie Fang, MSNBC legal contributor, Tom Winter, NBC News correspondent. Tom, in this case, what did she pay the test moderator to do to get her kids' numbers up? What did he actually do for the money? Well, essentially, Chris, it was, it was kind of two things. One, that she would be able to have her daughter take the test with no time limit whatsoever. So uh, it, it, there was no, as, as we know from uh, from taking the college boards, you have a certain amount of time to complete certain portions of the test. She would be able to take as much time as she wanted. In addition to that, uh, what she pleaded guilty to and what we saw in the charging documents is that the person who proctored the test, basically the, the, the instructor for the test, uh, went back and was able to correct some of her daughter's answers. It led to uh, an approximately 400-point increase on her college board, so not an insignificant increase. And on top of yeah. that, her daughter had a significant amount of time to get it right in the first place. So how that, does a that proctor, was the underlying scheme. How does a proctor get to squirrel away themselves with a test, somebody's test, and change enough of the answers to get four points up? Now, do they know the answers because they're smart, or do they have a guidebook which has all the right answers? And how do you cheat? I'm just curious about technically how you do this thing. This well, I think what, was, what came across in the, in the initial charging documents in, in several instances, and it wasn't just Felicity Huffman's daughter who, uh, who was able to get some of these benefits, uh, but according to the charging documents, Chris, basically you have people that are, that are educators. Uh, these are not people that are just off the street. Uh, God knows yeah. it's not myself, uh, but it would be people <laughs> that are educators, uh, that are professors, uh, that are involved in, in, the, school, in, in, you know, in the schools and in schooling systems, so uh, they would presumably have have that higher level of knowledge uh, to be able to uh, to correct these uh, answers and, and jack up those scores. Katie, what do you make of two weeks, 14 days? Is that jail time or in a real prison? What, what kind of a situation will uh, this uh, defendant, this convicted person have to face? A real, what will the situation be for two weeks? So Felicity Huffman's not going to be doing hard time in a maximum security federal prison, but two weeks is a lot of time for somebody who is an otherwise glamorous Hollywood actress. You know, 14 days doesn't sound like a lot, but for any defendant who's looking down the barrel of having to go to jail, that is day for day. We do not expect Felicity Huffman to get any good time served, as you've heard before. She'll do those 14 days, but frankly, Chris, by the time she actually gets into the federal prison system, basically gets acclimated to it, she will be out of the system. So, you know, you look at her you see that she gave $15,000 in order to get her daughter to test better with that proctor's assistance. But if I were somebody like Lori Laughlin, who gave $500,000 with her husband for her two daughters to get into USC, I would be whipping out those prayer candles tonight because mm -hmm. she has decided to plead not guilty, take the risk of going to trial against the biggest law firm in the world, which is the federal government. And so she's looking at significant jail time if Felicity Huffman only got 14 days. I want to ask you to both. I'll start with Tom. I'll give you a chance to think about about it, Katie, because it's a tough question. Will this serve as a real deterrent? Will this stop parents who've got the wrong values and the wrong, well, crazy ambition without the right values, instead of teaching their kids along the way from the time they're teachable, from the time they're first grade on to 12th grade when they're getting ready for college, they think about buying them in. Is this going to teach better values? Will it scare the bad guys? 
Well, I, I think it's it's two things. One, that you can get caught, right? Because that's a big part of this. I mean, I think everybody here thought, well, you just pay this guy and this guy pays somebody else and, you know, everybody's kind of winking on it and, and you can get into the school of your choice or at least have a better opportunity. And I think the fact that when people get caught uh, doing wrong things and there are people in positions of power or influence or celebrity, uh, that's always a little bit of a wake-up call. And the fact that Felicity Huffman, okay. I mean, she got a pretty good deal here. I mean, it was four to ten months is what she agreed to in her plea agreement. Prosecutors asked for even lower than that. Uh, they went beyond their <laughs> obligations, arguing for only a month, and now she's going to do 14 days. I wouldn't want to do 14 days, uh, and I think a lot of people that are watching us tonight, Chris, wouldn't want to do 14 days in a federal prison either. So I think it is a little <sighs> bit of a wake-up call, and I think, to Katie's point, if you're Lori Loughlin and you're sitting at, you're sitting at home and you're watching this, uh, she paid a lot more money, $500,000 along with her husband. She's looking at significantly more jail time even if she pleads out, uh, I think that uh, some folks here are going to be watching this pretty closely and realize that this this honest services fraud or wire fraud uh, is something that could really bite you. Katie, good deterrent here. Good deterrent by this. You know, it is a send a message sentence, Chris, and that's exactly what the federal judge said she wanted to do in this case. You know, to Tom's point, though, and normally in these types of cases where you have this type of, you know, a lot of people involved in the fraud, what happened to this specific situation, I want to serve as a reminder, is that the head of this, Rick Singer, the actual mastermind of this, mm -hmm. he was cooperating with the feds. He wore wires. He actually wore, you know, everything was bugged. I mean, this is how he actually drew that huge net to bring in all of these parents. And so in this particular investigation, this Operation Varsity Blues, it actually went from the very top in terms of cooperation, which made it easier to snag people like Felicity mm -hmm. Huffman, Lori Laughlin, exactly those people. So yeah, it is a deterrent, but I don't really know if it's going to stop people from the obvious, which is uh, giving them millions of dollars for a hall or a building named after you for your kid to get into school. Well, it's going to help the reputation of USC because all this money being spent to get a Southern cow is amazing. <laughs> hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.